Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a place called Blobby Land Theme Park. If you've heard of this place before, you know how terrifying it is. And if you haven't, you are definitely in for a journey. I had so much fun researching this video. This is one of the weirdest places I've ever seen. Before I get started though, if you have not seen my last two videos, this is the last reminder about this new backdrop behind me. These are astronaut dinosaurs. I love them. They're so cute. It's kind of goofy, but that's the best part. If you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram. It is jessiev. Give it a follow. And then send me a DM telling me what you would name your own personal planet in space. And that is all you have to do to be entered, and I'll be announcing the winner in a few weeks. All right, guys, so let's get right into this very weird video. So this theme park was actually based off of a 90s TV show called Noelle's House Party. This was a BBC show that came out in the early 90s and it took place in a large house in this fictional village called Crinkly Bottom. It was basically a comedy show that had many celebrity guests posing as residents of Crinkly Bottom and it became extremely popular and was said to be the best TV show that aired on a Saturday night. Now there was this one character in the show, his name was Mr. Blobby, and he was definitely one of the most talked about, one of the most popular characters. He was this tall pink blob covered from his overly large head to his overly large feet in yellow spots. He also boasted a pair of bulging round googly eyes and a permanent toothy grin, and if that was not weird enough already, he also spoke in a highly distorted nightmarish electronic voice, and he would only ever say his own name. Now, he would usually only appear in the episodes with celebrity guests, and Mr. Blobby would clumsily take part in whatever activity the celebrity guest was trying to teach him, and it would never be easy for Blobby to learn this activity, so he would get angry, frustrated, and then he would break the entire set. He would throw things, freak out. He was basically always unleashing chaos and destruction, which I find really strange, especially for a kid's TV show? Why are you teaching kids to just get angry like that and destroy things? Okay, so because of the success of this show, in 1994, they decided to create a theme park inspired by this show. And they named this theme park Crinkly Bottom, but it's mostly referred to as Blobby Land. It was promoted as Britain's first TV leisure park, and there was a Blobby-themed house called Dunblobbin, which was the main attraction. Dunblobbin was painted bright pink with yellow spots and a blue roof. It was surrounded by a white picket fence and had windowsills adorned with blooming plastic flowers. And it had this iconic front door which everybody wanted to take a photo in front of. And when you press the doorbell, you would hear Blobby's voice say, Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Like it would just be him loudly saying his name whenever you would press it, which is so weird. And apparently this loud doorbell could even even be heard outside of the park for miles. So locals who lived near this theme park were constantly angry hearing this noise all day long by kids who pressed it, and they would constantly curse this Blobby house. They hated it, and I don't blame them. Imagine hearing Blobby saying his name all day long. It would probably drive you insane. Now inside the house, there were these sofas covered in floral pattern fabric and a TV set which looked like something straight out of the Flintstones. This large stuffed Blobby Blobby dog would be sleeping on the floor. All the walls had these portraits of Mr. Blobby and his wife and his child. And if you went into the kitchen, you can see that they only lived off cake. That's the only food they had in their kitchen and their house in general. And what's so creepy is that if you went into the bathroom, you were apparently in for a big surprise because Mr. Blobby would be peeking around the shower curtain at you. And even the toilet in this room was pink and spotty. If you went into his bedroom, you would immediately hear the sound of Blobby snoring. Like they would just be snoozing in bed under the covers. And I just find this all so creepy, especially the 70s 
sound effects and seeing Mr. Blobby in different places around the house, no thank you. A map of the Crinkly Bottom theme park shows a railway, an animals, a farthing wood attraction, alongside sea lion shows, a safari ride, fun village, a deer park, leopards. I mean, this park had absolutely everything. It had every kind of animal, every kind of attraction. And the sad thing was that once this park was open, there were daily complaints from people saying that the elephants specifically were being treated really badly. But despite these complaints, Blobby Land proved hugely popular, attracting a reported 650,000 visitors in its first season. So you're probably wondering what the heck happened to this park to make it be completely abandoned. So the park was only open for about 13 weeks before councillors voted to shut it down, and the majority of the attractions remained but were removed in 1997. It was then rebranded as Cricket St. Thomas Wildlife Park until the whole area was closed in 1998. And people who used to go there are looking back at it now saying that this park was just so overpriced and there was just a lot of sketchy things going on. In the 2000s, urban explorers rediscovered the abandoned Dunblobbin house, which led to more people returning to this park to see it. And their pictures and videos went viral as people reminisced about their family holidays in the 90s. And the owners of the land initially blocked off the site and then demolished Dunblobbin in 2014 just to stop people from going to the house because people were vandalizing it, obviously going onto private property. And this was a popular site for illegal raves. They were literally raving in this old blobby house. And the polyesterine toilet from the house was taken from there in 2013 and was placed in an art gallery. So uh, yeah, nowadays you won't really find anything left of this park, but there is a lot of stories of hauntings that are here. Some people that were able to explore this abandoned park before it was completely torn down said that the land it was built on is definitely cursed. There was something so ominous about walking through all of the abandoned attractions and seeing Blobby's smiling face everywhere as if he was watching them. And some people said they would hear the Blobby doorbell going off in the distance even though no one was near it. Others said they would see large shadows popping up behind trees or behind buildings as if he was following them as they explored. Something just did not seem right here. The vibes were off. People just constantly were looking over their shoulders, feeling like someone was watching them. You know when you get that sense of unease? So many people felt that here. I also read some legends about a witch making her home amongst the abandoned buildings because some people that went there saw these weird markings all over the buildings. It wasn't just graffiti. It was like these really creepy symbols everywhere, like carved into the buildings. And they would also find these sticks that were formed into symbols hanging everywhere, which really reminds me of the Blair Witch Project. So yeah, this area is said to be cursed. You don't want to be here. It's super creepy. I had never even heard about this park existing and I was born in the early 1990s and yeah, I'm just glad I never went here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are so many different theme parks that I could talk about that were abandoned really early on for really creepy reasons. So if you want me to continue this series and talk about more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like this backdrop behind me, just be subscribed to this channel and head over to my Instagram called Jesse V. Follow me there and send me a DM telling me what you would name your planet. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!